Kevin Bloom chip in a little bit here as he's sitting next to me. Snuck a seat in. Madrano inside, throws it off the glass and in. English jumps out on top, 2 0, and they go full court. Trap, 1 2 2. Dominic Jenny with the three point shot, no good. Jackie Rose comes out with the rebound. It's Anderson, Rose, Madrano, Jones, and Tracy, the starting five, as Classical goes 1 2 2. Wheezy Jones. Can't hit it. Pena with the rebound. Jetty ahead to Kalansis. The left hander is up and good by Kalansis and a tie to two. Baker and Keon Coleman are the other two starters along with Pena, Baker, uh, Jetty, and Kalansis. Anthony Anderson outside with the basketball going against the zone. The Rose with the turnaround. In and out. Pena with another rebound. And English will pull it back as Kalansis walks it up. Baker, English now in his zone defense. Big block by Madrano inside. The throw up is no good by Pena. It's loose. Tracy comes out with the basketball. And Anderson will walk it up. We played just about a minute. And we're tied at two. Madrano trying to throw it up, got blocked by Coleman. Baker outside with a basketball. English back in a man to man now as they change up defenses. Inside to Pena. Can't hit the shot now, it goes in, it does go in. It looked like it was coming out. Pena gets the basket and Classical leads four to two. Looked like he threw it up too strong. Anderson out front. Tracy can't get the shot off, covered by Jetty on that 1 2 2. Back to Tracy in the corner for the shot. Up and good. It's good for two. And we're tied at four. And English back in that trap defense. Pena in the corner. Jetty. Outside to Baker. From the corner, three point shot is no good. Pena gets good position, gets the rebound, out muscling Madrano. In the middle to Coleman. Coleman went, ducked his head, went underneath, and Madrano got hit, and he's down. He's very slow getting up. <clears throat> the foul will be against Madrano as he went to the floor very hard. And he's still wincing visibly. And he had a little bit of difficulty, but uh, he doesn't want to be looked at. He knows if he's looked at, he's going to have to come out. So he wants to stay in the game. So Keon Coleman will be at the line looking to break the tie. Shooting two. First one finds the back rim. Keon misses the second one. Rebounded by Queasy Jones. He pulls it out. It was one against three. And he'll give it to Anderson outside. Anderson for three. It's good. He got a screen from Jackie Rose up top. Moved to his right. Made the shot. Coleman. Offensive foul. Madrano with a nice defensive play. Held his ground and got run over. And English will have a chance to add to that 7-4 lead. Classical extending it a little bit further now, almost like a 3-2. Jackie Rose dumps it to J Tracy, who can't hit the shot. Good look by Jackie Rose. This is Baker. Man to man now. We got an offensive foul, I believe. Against Classical again, setting a pick. They were trying to set a screen for Kalansis, and he moved doing it.
Tracy from long range. Hits it for three. Second trifecta for the Bulldogs, and it's 10 to four. Jenny with the bounce pass to Kalansis has to pull it out. He takes the three and gets it. So Glasgow's designated three-point shooter gets one, and it's 10 to seven. From outside, too strong, Queasy Jones. Pena doing a nice job off the glass. And Classical a chance to get a little closer. Kalansis loose and doesn't take the shot. Kalansis now looking to go, get swallowed up by Jones. Pena. Jetty. Clark is down to five. Baker throws it up too strong. Tipped up. Say out of bounds. Queasy Jones with a nice defensive play. Went up while he was in the air, knocked it off Pena. And English gets the basketball, and Classical will go full court pressure. To Jones. Knocked away by Kalansis. The foul will be against Kalansis. As Classical used full court pressure to try and cause the turnover, they almost got it. But Queasy Jones, a nice outlet man to have at midcourt. He skies up in here. You just have to throw it up there. He'll go get it. Tracy fakes the shot to Madrano. Offensive foul against Madrano. Good defense inside by the Rams. Madrano tried to force it up and gets called for the offensive foul. Ten forty-five left to play in the first half. Ten to seven, the Bulldogs, looking for their ninth win. If they get it, they will have qualified for the tournament. With eight games still left to play, Coleman can't get it off, but Jackie Rowe is going to get called for the foul. So Rose, that's only the second foul against English. Classical has three, so neither team really in any kind of foul trouble. Coleman will be back at the line. His second trip. He missed his last two. And he finds the back rim with the first shot. Troy Sutson makes his first appearance. He's another designated three point shooter for the Rams. Keon makes that one. And he gets them back within two, 10 to eight. And Clasco puts that one, two, one, one press at half court. And the outlet in that case is Madrano deep in the corner. In this, try to go, get stripped. Jetty out in front gets the pass from Sutson. And Dom Jetty gets the basket and ties the game up. Pass inside. Nice job from Rose to Queasy Jones. <laughs> Kalinsis can't hit it. Rebounded by Pena. Pena from deep in the corner. Off the rim, no good. Rose with the rebound for English. And Anderson will walk it up. 12 to 10. English. Jones to Rose. The turnaround by Rose, off the rim, no good. Kalansis comes up with it, the pass down court to Jetty. Throws it off the glass and in. Jetty was ahead of the pack. They finally saw him, and Jetty with back-to-back -back baskets ties it up again at 12. Tracy from the corner, the little runner is up and good. Tracy's got seven, and English's got the lead back. 14 to 12. Sutson to Pena. Sutson for three, no good. Rose will track it down and give it to Anderson, the quarterback, who'll walk it up. 8.45 left in the first half. 14 to 12, the Bulldogs. Jetty at the top of that one, two, two. 
Rose spinning the turnaround, too strong. Kept alive by Madrano. Anderson drives, can't get it to fall. Madrano inside, off the glass and in, the fall away. English dominating the glass on that sequence, and they get the lead to four. Kalancis is going to go to the free throw line. He felt the contract and threw the ball up. Matt Ridley, along with Anthony Nash, in the ball game. Kalancis has a chance to get Classical a little bit closer. 16 to 12 is the score. Elias has six. He can make it seven and get the lead back to two. Around the rim and in. So he has seven and it's 16, 14. And again, that half court trap. Rose, Tracy has to track it down. To Jones in the corner, strong drive. Little scoop shot lays it in. Strong, aggressive move to the basket by Queasy Jones. Jenny lets it fly, off the rim, no good. Rose will track it down. Jones gets swallowed up. Anderson winds up in the corner. Queasy Jones becomes the point guard. Into Rose. It steps called against Jackie Rose. So classical hanging around, giving themselves a chance. Baker, who just came in the game, brings it up. This is Ridley. Shot up, no good by Sutson. Jones comes down with the rebound. And Anderson will walk it up. Glasgow staying in that one, two, two. Jimmy down more. Move it, come on, Rolls to Tracy from the corner. It's up and good for two. So now Glasgow will take a timeout as English has opened up a six point lead, 20 to 14. Tracy has. Nine points, and Tommy Grasso wants to talk it over with his players, and uh, I'll get Kevin Bloom to chime in. Kevin, uh, both teams playing zone defense. English has mixed it up a little bit man to man, but uh, English comes out with a little bit with the hot hand hitting the, uh, the outside shot. Classical hasn't found the range yet. Yeah, Jimmy Tracy has hit uh, four or five shots from the outside, and that's really opened up the middle farm. It seems that uh, English has handled the pressure a little bit better. Classical was able to make a little bit of a run when they were struggling there with the full court pressure. But it seems that uh, English, once again to the half court set, seems to be able to do what it wants. Classical, a smaller team, uh, Madrano, Rose, and, and, and uh, Queasy Jones inside, able to control it. Classical, in, in most cases, only getting one shot at the basket. Yeah, the, with the three guards there, they don't seem to be doing a little bit too much on the inside. Um, the outside shooting, they've struggled a little bit, hitting uh, 0 for 4, 0 for 5, actually, on their three-point attempts. So 20 to 14, the score, as Baker walks it up. 6.45 left to play in the first half. Uh, as we like to say, Thanksgiving Day in January, English against Classical. And uh, English, very important game for English. If they win, they qualify for the state tournament for the first time since we believe 1993, at least. Uh, Classical, three and six, and their usual perennial, Jackie Rose hits the jump, but their perennial uh, tournament teams, and they usually go to the finals and win it. They've got a couple of state championships back to back, and this year they're struggling a little bit at three and six, but you throw the records out when these teams play, because uh, this is for bragging rights. All these kids know each other, uh, they're, they're good friends, uh, but they're also arch rivals, and they want to have those bragging rights. Baker from downtown goes it around the rim and out. The rebound by Anthony Nash. Madrano goes high in the air to get the rebound. One of the few times Classical's had a second attempt, 
Madrano made sure they didn't get three. Anderson, the fall away, blocked nicely by Troy Sutton on a nice defensive play. Baker's going to get called for steps. He got caught betwixt and between. So now Anderson being chased by Sutton. And they play a triangle and two as Jetty is going to cover Queasy Jones. And Anderson is also being covered. Rose can't hit the shot. Gets his own rebound. It'll be a foul against Classical. So they're playing Queasy Jones and Anthony Anderson man to man. The other three Classical kids are playing zone. We saw them do this in this gym against Swampscott, against Shapiro and Bolero. And it worked for quite a long time. Well into the second half, Classical had a lead early in the second half in that game because of their defense. So let's see how well it works against English. Rose strong to the basket, can't get the fall, tipped up, no good. Rose gets it back and keeps it alive. To Anderson, driving, no good off the glass. Madrano followed, wouldn't go. Baker looking to go to the basket, dumps it down inside. Madrano with a huge block. Ridley made a nice fake, beat his man, went up to lay it in, and Madrano was there to knock it out of bounds. And he's been a defensive force for English all year long. This time. On the threes, here is Cameron. Robert, we have some good news on the expressway northbound and South Bay Police in South Boston. We had that accident by free. Sunson outside. Coleman gets loose and lays it in. 22-16. As again, a playing man. Tracy fakes, gives it to Rose from the corner. The shot is good. And when you try to take something away, you give something back. And they're going to have easy jump shots from the, from the corner and from the elbow with uh, a triangle playing, trying to play defense while the other two guys chase Rose and Anderson. So uh, those three guys playing zone are going to really have to earn their money. Baker lets it fly, too strong. Baker takes it away. It gets loose. Tracy takes it back. And Anderson will walk it up. Anderson got up in the air and couldn't get it off. And we got a jump ball situation as Baker and Madrano tied each other up. And the arrow favors Classical and he'll get the ball with 340 left. 24-16, an eight-point lead for the Bulldogs. English dropping back in to a, a makeshift 1-2-2. Two, two. It's actually looked more like a 3-2 as Rose is the man up top, and he drops right down the middle quickly. Coleman trying to go. Knocked away by Rose. Nice defensive play. Rose strong to the basket, lost it. Galantz has saved it, and Sutton will push it up. This is Jetty. Inside, nice pass, and Fanfan lays it in. Ralph Fanfan, who came in momentarily uh, as Tommy Grasser goes to his bench quite liberally here in the first half. English has not made a substitution. Anderson lets it fly. Off the rim, no good. Fanfan with a nice rebound. And Kalantzis and Classical can get a little bit closer as they try to hang around. Kalantzis for three. It's good. His second trifecta. So the second three-point basket by Kalansis, and it's 24-21. Rose and Tracy playing catch from the corner. Tracy, line drive, got knocked down, no call. 
And Klasko with a chance to go even closer. Our three would tie it up. Kalansis lets it fly. It's good for three. And Klasko is tied at a 24. And the Klasko fans come alive. Rose from deep in the corner, throws in a three. And the English fans signify their happiness with the three. 27-24, we go back and forth. Kalansis in the middle. Coleman can't handle a pass. Madrano comes up with a loose basketball. 120 and counting as Anderson brings it over half court. Anderson for three. It's good. His second trifecta, and the lead is back to six, 30 to 24. One minute straight up to play in the first half. First classical, now English coming back. Coleman strong to the basket, can't hit it. Knocked away, Jenny comes up with it. Sets in for three. It's good. And we said they weren't hitting their outside shots early. Both teams starting to warm up a little bit. Anderson gets the shot off. Surrounded by three, Glasgow Ramsey double pumped. And the little clutch held it back and waited for the contact and threw it up. And he'll go to the free throw line. Wenceslaw Cabrera and Jared Bates. Jared Bates had a big hand in the ball game the other night, the big comeback against Salem. He got inserted in the second half and made all eight of his points in the second half as English came back from 11 to win that one. And they want him in there for his three-point shooting ability. Anderson makes both, he's got eight. And it's 32-27 with 30 seconds left. Inside, Pena, the turnaround is up and good. 32-29, classical hanging around. Jones throws it up, it'll count, he'll go to the basket. He'll go to the free throw line. He got caught, he got up in the air, he felt the contact. He momentarily lost possession, but he was in the act of shooting. He caught, retrieved the basketball, and threw it in. And he can make it a three-point play. And that's a big basket with, with only five seconds left. The free throw for Jones. <laughs> and Classical has to try and get it off quickly. Sunson hits the shot. At the buzzer, Sunson hits the shot, and Classical Goes downstairs on an upbeat as Sutton hits the ball shot right at the buzzer. And quickly, Kevin, before the half closes, uh, Classical heated up from the outside. Those threes, Kalansis, and now that big basket by Sutton. That's a big lift going into the locker room. And also opens up the middle for Keon Coleman. You saw that they were able to cut a little bit more through the middle with uh, Kalansis hitting those two threes. So it's a, a, a very good half. We start off slow, but we finish great. 35-31 English. We'll be back with the second half. Welcome back to Classical High School as we start the second half. I'm John Hoffman with Kevin Bloom chipping in and Kevin, uh, a real good fast paced first half. Yeah, very nice, a little slow start and then uh, teams picked up. Uh, English is hit, uh, shooting 14 of 31 from the floor but four of seven from three point. Whereas Classical who started real slow finished up the half 11 of 25 from the floor for 11 from beyond the three point arc. English with the basketball to start, they have the lead 35, 31. They, uh, they spread the scoring around, all five starters who have played virtually all of the minutes. 
The pass out to Tracy from the foul line. Madrano looking to go. Shot is missed. And he was lucky he didn't pick up another foul because he tried to go. Look, look like, look like a, a fullback trying to make a couple of yards for a first down. But uh, English spread it around. Madrano had four. Rose and Jones had seven apiece. Anderson had eight. Tracy had nine for 35. On the other side, uh, it was uh, Fanfin with two, Coleman with three, Pena and Jetty with four, Sutson with five, and Kalancis leads all scorers with 13 in the first half. And three of those points, uh, three of those baskets he got in the first half were three pointers. So Classical had a chance to eat into that four point lead, but Madrano with the turnaround throws it up and in. And Madrano has a pretty good size advantage inside if they can exploit that. English staying with that 1 2 2 zone. Coleman lost it. It gets kicked around. Queasy Jones will pick it up and go to the basket. The fall away, no good. Rebounded. Rose takes it away and lays it in. Jackie will take those. It looked like classical at the rebound. It was lost. Rose just picked it off and was laying right there and had the easy layup. He's got nine and the lead is eight. Kalancis for three. It's good. Nothing but net. That one almost set off the sprinkler system. Jimmy, take it up yourself. 39-34, Classical continues to hang around. Tracy's gonna get called for steps. Bagel ring it up and Classical can get a little bit closer as we played one minute here in the second half. Jetty, strong to the basket, off the glass and in. And Classical is back within three, 39-36, as Tracy brings it up. Again, Classical playing that triangle and two, Anderson and Queasy Jones being covered man to man. The shot from the corner is up and good by Jones for two. And the lead is back to five. Jetty got stopped as he looked to go up the middle. We haven't spoken too much about the 30 second clock, which has not been in play in, at all. Jetty throws it up, gets the roll, it won't go. Rose lost it, but he lost it to Anderson, and Anderson will walk it up. Anderson to Rose. Out to Tracy for three. It's good for three. Tracy's got 12. And the lead is eight. It matches the, the biggest lead that English had in the first half. Baker dumps it down inside. Coleman can't hold on. It goes out of bounds. And English with a chance to get it to double digits. <coughs> Jones looking to go against Baker. Drives the baseline too strong. Pena comes up with it. Gives it to Kalancis. Kalancis throws it up and in. 18 for Kalancis. Classical's back within six. Anderson looking to go against Jetty. Loose in the paint, throws it up. Offensive foul against Anderson. Sutson and Fanfan will come in the basketball game. Sutson and Kalancis, the guards, Fanfan, Pena, and 
Jetty up front for the Rams. Tracy, Rose, Madrano, Jones, and Anderson for English. And Classical takes a time out to talk about it. And I think, Kevin, uh, if you told Tommy Grasser that uh, what he would like best, he would say, I want to keep it close midway or late into the, into the second half and give our team a run so we can be positioned some, somewhere to make a run. And uh, Elias Kalantzis has certainly given him that opportunity. Yeah, Kalantzis is allowing him to do that. He's really just hanging around that perimeter, and he doesn't need much time. He has a real quick release, and you give him a little bit of a clearance, and he'll fire it away. Yeah, he's certainly not bashful. English has spread their scoring around. Uh, they did get Bates and Cabrera in the game, but basically it's been a five-man game for English. Classical has gone to that bench liberally, but Ronnie Bennett does that, and he's been doing it all year, so there's no chance of these kids really getting tired uh, playing this game. They, they've been able to do it all year, but uh, and right now, nobody in any kind of foul trouble. That and the pace of the game, John, is fairly slow. It's, it's not really up and down, so they should be able to keep their legs. Sutton has the basketball with 11.35 left. Classical looking to cut into that six-point English lead. Kalansis lets it fly off the rim. No, no. Anderson thought about throwing it deep, but then gave it a second thought and held on, and English will look to attack. Jones goes by, takes the shot, jump shot, won't hit it. Gets his own rebound, throws it up left-handed, throws it in. And he's got 11, and the lead is back to eight. So every time Classical makes a little run, English has an answer. Rose inside, jockeying for position, get caught pushing off. And Kalansis will put it in play. Madrano almost with the steal. And we've got Jared Bates coming in for Jackie Rose. Weezy Jones gets a piece of it and doesn't let him get the ball in. They finally get it into Jetty and Sutson from the top of the circle lets it fly, no good. Fanfin with a great rebound, can't hit the shot. Madrano and Tracy try to save it. They went out of bounds. It'll be Classical's basketball. 46-38, the Bulldogs. 10-45. Left to play in the basketball game. Inside to Sutson, who lays it in. He got loose. They set a pick for him. He got loose on it. Got the easy layup. Straight man-to-man -man by Classical now, as Anderson almost lost it. Jones gets it back. Bates has Kalantzis on him. Madrano with a little spin move, lays it in. Nice little drop step by Madrano, got him loose in the paint, he hit the, the three-footer. And it's 48-40, and the foul's gonna be against Anderson. Third foul on the Bulldogs in the second half. Classical has yet to commit one. Fin Fin to Kalantzis for three, no good. Madrano takes it away. Jones made a great play to catch the pass. The little short jump shot is good. Two great plays by Queasy. The pass was thrown away. He, he just got a hand on to tip it back to himself to keep it in play, and then he hits the jumper, and English has their biggest lead of the game, 50-40. This is Kalansis to Sutson. In the lane, gets the roll, it won't go. Madrano keep it alive, and it's gonna be a foul against, I believe, Pena. No, it's against Madrano, excuse me. He pointed down the other end. He said go, he pointed toward the basket the other way. But it's against Madrano. So English thought it was against Classical too as they pointed down to the English basket, but uh, they changed, they realized, uh, Stu Feinberg realized he pointed the wrong way and caught his mistake. 
And now Kalansis travels trying to get the shot off. And Bates will bring it up. Bates gets swallowed up as he looks for the three. Tracy out of bounds. Doug Chick making his first appearance in a basketball game. English straight man to man. Sutson off Sutson's knee out of bounds. It'll be English basketball. Tracy will bring it up, covered by Sutson. Anderson, straight man to man by the Rams. They've got to <coughs> work and try to come back in the game. Madrano lost it. Tracy gets tied up by Sutson. <coughs> Sutson committed the foul. Tracy should be at the line shooting too. That's the first foul on Classical. Well, Classical has to worry about is by not fouling. If they get too late in the game, they won't be able to put English at the foul line when they need to stop the clock. So they may have to commit some fouls. Tracy finds the back rim with the first one. The back rim again. Bates keeps it alive with the rebound. Tracy to Jones. The shot off the glass, no good. Pena picked it off to Sutson. The bounce pass to Jetty. This is Sutton looking to go. Throws it up and in. He's got nine and the lead is eight. Anderson throws it up and in. <coughs> Leaning in, it was contact, but they let it go. And there's a great pass from Sutson, and Pena lays it in. And it's back to eight, 52-44, with half of one period left, eight minutes. We got a blocking foul against Classical. And that's Fanfan picking up the foul. Anderson to Madrano. Jones looking to go. He gets hit. And they got a bit of a mismatch. Fanfin trying to cover Jones. Jones might be a little too quick. He got loose that time and drew the contact. And Anthony Nash will come in replacing Fanfin. Jones at the line shooting two. Guzzi had seven in the first half. He's got seven here in the second half. Looking for his 15th point. And that makes it a 10 point lead again, 54-44. Sutson throws it up. It won't go. Two classical. Fanfin and Anthony Nash both working hard trying to get the ball and they both got it and traveled and English will get the ball back with a chance to extend the largest lead they've had tonight. Jackie Rose is back in so English has their starting five in the ball game. Jones, Rose, Tracy, Anderson and Madrano. It's Jetty, Sutson, Anthony Nash, Pena and Fanfin for the Rams. Rose takes a little shot, jumper no good. Anthony Fanfan with a nice rebound. He gets tied up and we'll have a jump ball. It'll be classical basketball. And classical's gonna have to do something quickly. They 
7.15 left, they trailed by 10. And they're gonna have to get some quick offense. With the 30 second clock, they can hang tough. Tracy working hard. Took it away from Sutson. Good job by Jimmy Tracy on defense. And the alternate possession gives English the basketball. Jackie, Jackie! They're going to look to try and set Queasy Jones up to go one on one. They do. He throws it up. It won't go. And we get a blocking foul against Fanfin. And they have that mismatch and they're exploiting it. Queasy's got that strong drive to the basket. He's got that very quick first step. And it's, he just explodes off the ball. And Jones will be at the line shooting too. Queasy misses the first. Gets the second one. Substitution. Keon Coleman will come in for Fanfan. And Fanfan gave him some pretty good minutes. Six forty-five, an eleven point lead as sets in outside with a basketball. Coleman inside to Pena, the fall away is good. He's got eight, and it's under double digits. The lead is nine. Anderson looking to go against Jetty. It's a good match. They're both very quick. Anderson gets loose, can't throw it in. The ball is loose. Jones gets it and pulls it out. Looking to go to the basket. He gets fouled, I believe, by Anthony Nash. It's a non-shooting foul. The foul is going to be against Dom Jetty. Jenny was trying to argue his case, but I don't think Stu Feinberg is going to listen. Glasgow wants a timeout. So uh, the inside game of English, given the height a little bit, uh, causing some problems, and now Glasgow having to go a little bit quicker than they'd like uh, with, with the double-digit lead has caused them some problems. Yeah, English has really moved the ball well on offense. Uh, when Classical went to that triangle and two and also the straight man, they did some nice jobs of cutting without the ball and setting some picks. And uh, it's going to be tough for Classical to get back down nine, especially, as you said, with the inside job, especially with uh, Madrano in the post. You know, he really establishes himself not only in offense, but also defensively, altering a few shots. When they went to that triangle and two, it leaves an awful lot of gaps for, for the other three. They're covering Jones and Anderson man to man. Leaves an awful lot of gaps and some easy shots. And luckily for English, they were knocking them down. Jimmy Tracy hit some, Rose hit a couple, uh, and that caused Classical to have to come out of that defense. They did a nice job of instead of hanging out on the outside, they stepped into the gap. Instead of settling for something from deeper, they stepped in from about 12 feet and obviously a higher percentage shot. So it's a nine point lead with 6-11 left. English has the basketball and Classical has a uh, mountain to climb right now. And they're also in foul trouble. English will be shooting one on one the rest of the way. At least until they, if and when they reach 10 fouls, which would make it two. Rolls against Coleman. To Anderson outside, straightens up, lets it fly off the rim, no good. Sutson trying to go ahead. Jim Tracy with another big defensive play. Tracy picked off the pass. Rolls outside to Anderson, straight away for three. No good, but he got knocked down. And Anderson will be at the line shooting, I believe, three. So Anderson will shoot three. 
But Tracy started that play with the big steal. Looked like Keon Cole was going to have an easy break. Sutton tried to find him. Tracy acting like a defensive halfback. Stepped in front, picked it off, and Anderson will shoot three. Sutson will walk it up, 58-46. Jetty looking to go. Throws it up and in, off the glass. He's got eight, and the lead is 10, 58-48. 530 left to play in the basketball game. Anderson got swallowed up by Coleman as he looked to take a three. The shot clock under 10. Tracy lets it fly. Too strong. Rose tried to keep it alive, but knocked it out of bounds. And Classical has a chance to get it under double digits. Good sized crowd here tonight getting a good basketball game. 58-48. Classical has made English work. Sutson lets it fly for three. It goes out of bounds. And English will get the ball back. Weezy Jones for three. Jones has 19 now. Almost stole it. Keon got it back and throw it in. 61-50. English and uh, Anderson throws up a three. Anderson with 16. And Classical wants a timeout to talk about it. Or he reminds you about our all-stop pizza parties coming up. Watch on Thursday nights at 6.30 on Channel 3 Sports Weekly. And check out all the sports on Channel 15 during the week uh, to find out when those dates are coming up. We'll have football, hockey, basketball, highlights on a large screen, pizza for everybody, trivia prizes, questions the public is invited. So anybody can come, and it'll be a great night. You can get yourself on television and see some great highlights of all the high school kids, hockey, basketball, both boys and girls, and football as well. And we'll have some nice awards for all the All-Stars. So watch for the date in the newspapers on TV3 and on Channel 15 as well. Uh, Kevin, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say with 413 left and a 14-point lead, English looks like uh, they're going to beat the Rams for the first time. And when I talked to Ronnie Bennett uh, a couple of nights ago, he said it's been at least five years, which would be at least 10 games. But the thing, classical, I mean, the game, you know, 413 left, and now finally the game maybe is, is secured. But classical did a nice job of hanging in there. They just really couldn't get over the hump, John. Anytime they pulled within six or eight, English came back and put it back up to double digits, and they just weren't able to come back and pull it underneath five. Well, it's going to be strange, I have to ask, uh, what you think. Elias Kalansis has 18 points. He got 13 in the first half. He's hit four three-point baskets, and he's sat down for an awful long time, and he's not in foul trouble. So it's really strange with Classical needing the three-point shot, not having Kalansis in the ballgame. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. 4.05 left as we get the timeout again, and uh, Classical's going to have to now go to the whip. They can't fool around. They're going to have to uh, maybe put English at the foul line because uh, and, and they're on the verge of putting English in a double bonus. Eight fouls. English still has two fouls to waste. And, uh, so Classical is going to have to start doing some little gimmicks on defense as well as uh, trying to put English at the line and maybe miss some foul shots. There isn't much left that Tommy Grasser can pull out of the hat. No, he's going to have to put on some full court pressure. Class, uh, English so far has only turned the ball over six times in the game. That's it. Deep pass to Jackie Rose as English gets it over half court and Anderson will set it up to Jones. Almost picked off. Now it is picked off by Baker. Baker shrunk to the basket, can't hit it. The follow 
by Jetty is up and good. He's got 10. To Queasy Jones. Blocked by Keon Coleman. Jetty throws it up, blocked by Madrano. The foul will be against Baker. So defensive action at both ends. Coleman with a block, Madrano comes back and gets a block. And trouble for Glasgow, Kevin, they, that's a couple of chippies they missed in the last couple of minutes and you can't afford to miss those when you're trying to come back. That's the thing, if they look back, there's been opportunities to pull within, cut the lead down and there, you know, it was a chance you made a run, maybe to cut it down to 10 and who knows what happens. Jones will be at the free throw line. Quincy looking for 20 points. He needs this one for 20. Can't get it to fall. And Sutson will push it up. To Coleman, the fall away won't go, but he'll be at the free throw line. Foul will be against Jackie Rose. Rose picks up his fourth. Keon at the free throw line. Too strong with the first one. The next foul by Clasco will put English in the double bonus. So Keon makes one of two. Jackie Hopcott! Queasy! English does a nice job of getting across. Baker does a great job of stealing the basketball. Jones tried to take it back and knocked it out of bounds. Classical can cut it to 10, but they're still coming up on just about three minutes. Jenny for three. Bang, nothing but net. He's got 13 and the lead is nine. Steal by Sutson. Can't get the shot. Tracy gets tied up by Baker. Sutson made a great steal and kicked it off. And all of a sudden, that 13-point lead is nine, and Classical has the ball, and Kalantis is back in the game. <laughs> Coleman gets the pass outside. We got a foul inside. The foul will be against Jimmy Tracy. So now, Classical will be shooting one on one the rest of the way. That's the last foul that English can waste. Jetty wants to go, can't. Baker, the fall away by Baker, off the rim, no good. Rolls high in the air for the rebound. And Anderson will push it up quickly. Three on two, stops for the shot, for three and it's good. So Anderson and Jones both with 19, and the lead is back to 12. If it's against Rose, that's his fifth. And it is. So that's five, and Rose is going to have to take a seat. So Jackie Rose will have to take a seat falling out of the ballgame. And Wenceslaw Cabrera will be the sub. Rose played a very nice game. He had nine, seven in the, sec in the first half. And he had a lot of rebounds, played some good defense, and helped them break that press that Classical put on early when they built up, got the lead as high as 13. So Jackie sits down playing a very good ball game. And Coleman is back at the free throw line. Keon gets the bounce. Keon with a chance to get it to 10. And does as he gets the bounce. The pass to Jones, the little shot jump shot is good. Almost 
ball is picked off by Jones. Coleman dumps it out to Jetty for three. Cabrera with the rebound. Baker takes it away. Coleman lays it in. 70 to 60, the touchdown pass to Jones. The jump shot, no good. Madrano and Cabrera lose it out of bounds. Brian Cuthbert will replace Baker. And at 70, 60, a 10 point margin with 1.45 left. The shot is up and good by Jim Kennison, who just came in. And Clasco refusing to quit, has got it down to eight. The foul is going to be against Coleman. And Cabrera will be at the line to shoot two, and Clasco has just refused to roll over. They just got themselves in too deep a hole. Trailing by 13 with four minutes left. They've got it down to eight with 132 left. But now Cabrera can add to that. I was gonna say too strong, but he, he didn't call backboard, but he'll take it. That one was too strong. Cuthbert gets it ahead to Kalansis. Cuthbert lets it fly off the rim, no good. English will let it go out of bounds. 71-62, 121 left. Almost picked off. They get it to Tracy. Tracy almost lost it. Jones will get fouled by Cuthbert, and Jones will be at the line shooting two. 109, but Kevin, you gotta really credit these, the classical kids. They're not gonna win this basketball game, but they really gave an effort. They worked very hard and they refused to quit. I saw them do the same thing uh, about a few weeks ago against Bishop Fenwick, the same thing. Got to see they play hard right from the opening tap off until the final bell. And if you're Tommy Grasset, that's all you can ask. Guisi, the leading scorer in the ballgame, he's got 22. Misses the shot. Kennison with the rebound. Kalansis looking to get that shot off for three, gets swallowed up. Finds Kennison. He lost it. Out of bounds. It'll be English basketball with 58 seconds left. Up to Cabrera. To Medrano, it offensive foul against Medrano. The basket won't count. That would have put Medrano in double figures. Big block by Rose. And we're gonna get Medrano with a foul. And Madrano fouls out of the ball game. And Rose come over and made a great defensive play, blocked Jetty's shot. Madrano was coming over to try to do the same thing, and he got a piece of Jetty. And Madrano fouled out. And Jared Bates will come in the ball game. Glasgow's going to take a timeout with 45 seconds left in a basketball game, and it was as many as 13, and Glasgow has just worked hard to keep it down at least to manageable figures, but English has had an answer. They've got some, a couple of three-point passes. Queasy Jones came alive, and Anderson came alive. Yeah, the two three-pointers by Anderson, it helped stop two rallies that Glasgow was making a run at, and uh, from the top of the key, and he just buried them both. So Anderson had eight in the first. He's got 11 here in the second half. Queasy Jones had seven. He's got 14 here in the second half. But it was Tracy and Rose keeping English in front in the early going when they uh, were using that 1-2-2 two, two defense and they used the triangle and two on Jones and Anderson. It was Rose and Tracy uh, getting nine and seven respectfully in that first half uh, that got English off and got him that good-sized lead that was cut to four by classical halftime. 
and then Anderson and Queasy have taken over here in the second half to build that lead up as high as 13. And Jetty can eat into the 10 point lead and get under double digits. Jetty has played very, very well for classical. He gets the bounce. He's got 14. And you got to figure if you don't get the ball, if you don't steal the ball right away, you got to figure you're going to foul right away. Touchdown pass, looking for Anderson. Saves it to Jones. He gets fouled right away. So classical has no other choice. If English gets the ball in bounds, they got to foul right away. So this is going to break a couple of streaks. English hasn't been in the tournament since we believe 1993. This win will put them in the tournament. And the win also will Jones makes the free throw. So he makes them both a 10 point bulge. Sutson will pull up for three. No good. Tracy with the rebound. And Bates will bring it up. Ahead to Jones, wide open. Won't go. I think he was thinking about trying to stuff it. Then he tried to lay it in. It, it went around and out. Sutson picks up the foul. And Jones will be back at the line again. We see. Nice touch. Loose on the floor. Cabrera comes up with it. Can't hit the shot. Calancis will push it up. Shot. Tracy's going to get called for the foul. Three shots for Cuthbert. Cuthbert stopped, lined up the three. Tracy coming, a little back checking like in hockey. Trying to swat it away and he got a piece of Cuthbert and he'll be at the line shooting three. Makes the first. Two for two. He can get it down to eight. Misses. Kennison try to keep it alive. Cabrera lost it. Kennison gets it. Jetty with it. Strong to the basket. The bounce won't go. Cabrera down with the basketball. Almost lost it. Jones gets hit by Calancis with four ticks left on the clock. And Jones will go to the line. So the drought is over. English is going to go to the state tournament and he'll try to add and get a better seed as they go as they look to the next eight games. They're going to stay at least in the tie depending on what Beverly does against Salem tonight. And they're going to beat Glasgow for the first time in at least 10 games that we know of that I'm talking to coach Ronnie Bennett. We see makes one. Jetty gets it over half court, lets it fly, no good. So 76, 66, a big 41 point second half for the Bulldogs, pulls the ball game out. Jim Tracy with 12, nine of those coming early when they helped lead English to that lead and get them off and going in the ball game. Jackie Rose with nine, he got seven in the early going. Anthony Anderson gets 19. Madron will play an excellent game defensively and offensively. He had eight with a lot of blocks and rebounds. Queasy Jones, the leading scorer in the ball game with 24. On the other side, Dom Jetty had 15. Sutton had nine. Pena had eight. Coleman had 10. Calancis had 18 to lead Classical. Classical will drop to three and seven. English will go to nine and one. English now has qualified officially for the tournament and they'll look to keep that first place status in the Northeastern Conference looking for 
that a couple of big games coming up against Swampscott and Beverly. Uh, one at home, one on the road. Beverly at Beverly, Swampscott at English. So we hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman for TV 15 saying the final score once again, English 76, Classical 66. We'll see you next time on TV 15.